Hey, what is going on, guys? I am the Explosive Gamer, and welcome back to another commentary. Um, and this one, I want to kind of talk about um, how not good my PC is, as though I thought it was going to be better, because it is a gaming PC, well, built for gaming. Um, and what was recommended to me for the lowest, uh, like the cheapest, I guess, uh, the cheapest gaming PC I could get um, at the time. So because I got the cheapest I could and went kind of cheap on everything, uh, I can't really run games so well. So, like, I can run older games. I can run Half-Life pretty well, or I can run uh, Gmod, but, like, not, or Minecraft even is okay now. I've kind of fixed the problems with that. But uh, games like Firefall, Warface, um, Smite even is kind of sketchy. Transformers Universe, all these games that are newer, I cannot run as well anymore. <sighs> it's, it's, it's annoying, and and I now just recently watched a Firefall, uh, some Firefall gameplay from Gamespot, and they probably had on an ultra max out settings on an ultra max out amazing computer, but it looked beautiful, like the the light packs on the back of your character. Uh, as a biotech anyway, are actually give out some light and a little bit of animation inside them. Um, the environments are cool, are amazing looking. The sounds are great. I don't know if that really changes uh, due to computer, pro like different PCs. But I, I next, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much set now. Then instead of going and making a making my own computer, I kind of just want to get an Alienware one, which is. Maybe even an Alienware laptop because that'll be useful for me since I'm going into high school. But uh, an Alienware laptop, maybe probably a PC though, because I just I just like desktops better. But um, getting a PC would be a like getting an Alienware PC would make everything a lot easier for gaming and rendering and editing stuff because it'd be, it'd be freaking because Alienware PCs and computers are really freaking powerful because I'm pretty sure they can run Battlefield uh, Four on like ultra graphics at 1080p or something uh i may be wrong about that but it, they, they're pretty freaking amazing so i, I kind of want to get one of those and then i can play any mostly mostly any game that i want on pretty good settings not like super maxed out ultra settings because i they'd be awesome but i don't really need that i'm probably keeping on high settings uh 1080 or 720 or 1080p um but it, it just it gives me an awe where i paid so nearly $800 for my PC that I have right now and not including the everything else that I have with it because including everything else that I have with it like my microphone and my my mouse and my keyboard and my monitors all that stuff they'd be closer to a thousand but like with just the PC itself I paid nearly uh, nearly like I think it's like $750 or something or $650 I don't remember exactly how much it was but it was cheap um I, I don't even I think I I'm looking at it now and it's more of a waste of money because the computer I had before that I had to share with my brother but now like the reason I got this because I didn't want to share with my brother but uh, that computer I had before used to run Firefall just fine and ran other games pretty well uh, and I think it's more of a downgrade going to my custom built gaming PC from a Dell Inspiron which it, I guess comes from the same company or I think Dell owns Alienware, but it comes from the same uh, manufacturers or something. So it, I guess it would kind of correlate like that, but not really. It's kind of uh, aggravating that I wasted um, a chance to have a great computer uh, going for the cheapest stuff I could find. Because I had a budget of like $1,000 and went for the cheapest stuff I could find. It, it wasn't the greatest idea. It was not. I could have... Um, I went more towards my max and gotten better CPU and better graphics card, but that's really all I need because the my RAM is amazing. Like I have a great RAM, I have a great, I have a terabyte of space. I have a my motherboard is mid high high mid class higher middle grade. I think I I don't know exactly. Um, it's not a bad motherboard. I can tell you it's a pretty good motherboard. It's Azra, uh, so Asus, I guess. Um, it, it, it's most of, like, everything I went for went, was went for um, a higher quality, but not best, not best uh, 
performance, I guess, just quality is good because I got a EVGA GTX GT650 as my graphics card, which the graphics card isn't that bad. It's just the CPU does not cannot handle most of the processing power that it needs to handle. So it kind of, if I just got a better, I, th I, I think, I'm not completely sure about this, but if I got a better um, CPU or APU or whatever, because I have an APU uh, that has minimal graphics processing um it says somewhere on the box here that i have uh accelerated plus that's a solid apu performance for everyday computing uh d discrete gpu technology so that's probably where some of the performance goes into the gpu technology but uh i'd really really hope i could have gotten a better cpu or apu whatever um, I don't know if there's a be better difference between an APU and a CPU. Uh, if you guys tell me that in the comment section below, it would really help me out. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and share the video. It does help the channel out, and I'll see you all later. Peace.